trying to mix our lye. Now, because this is a goat's milk soap, and because it's really scary for people who are just starting out to make a goat's milk soap, we're going to do what I call a cheating method. What it is, is you want, you're not making 100% goat's milk soap. 100% goat's milk is the liquid that you use is 100% goat's milk with your caustic soda. Now that involves freezing your goat's milk and then pouring your lye in so slowly it takes you like seven days, well, it doesn't, but it might take you about an hour. So I don't like doing that. So my method, which a lot of people use, I'm not the only one, is on your recipe that you've got, or you should have, uh, the printed out or up on your screen somewhere where you can see it. The recipe calls for 190 grams of water. Now what we're going to do is lye needs the equivalent amount of itself to dissolve, right? So what we're going to do is call a one-to-one -one ratio. Now instead of using the 190 grams of water, which is what the whole soap needs, not just the lye. Caustic soda. Caustic soda, I will use caustic and lye interchangeably, but this is what I mean, this part here, right? So your lye is 68.5 grams. It's 68.36 if you use the non-tallow recipe and 69.2 if you use the no palm, all right? So what we will do is we're going to use 70 grams of water to what, whichever one of these grams of lye that you are going to use, which will be 68.5, 68.3, or 69. Whichever recipe that you're going to follow, it's still exactly the same. Because all we need is to make sure that we have as much water as we have lye, and then what we're going to do instead of using the rest of that water number, we're going to use that in goat's milk. All right? So, um, I should have probably had a pen before I started. <laughs> but hey, would it be one of my videos if I was completely organised? All right. So, instead of this 190 here, we're going to use 70. Okay, so 70 grams of water, which leaves us 120 grams of goat's milk. And then the liquid, because this is this number here on your recipe, is a liquid amount. It's not, not water, it's just a liquid. And we also we just have to make sure that we have enough water to dissolve our lye. Alright, and so 70 grams is one to one ratio with the lye. I know I've said this just a minute ago, but I'm repeating it. 70 grams will, will dissolve our lye, and then 120 will take it up to 190, which is our total liquid amount. All right, and it honestly, this way, you're still making a goat's milk soap, which still feels the same as 100% goat's milk, in my opinion. I'm sure there's people out there who don't think that, but. I've tried 100% goat's milk soap on one arm and a, what's this, 60, 70% goat's milk on this arm, washed them off and they both felt exactly the same. So, in my opinion, I think they're the same. So, um, so this is just a way that you can do it as an absolute beginner and still get a goat's milk soap and not worry that you've burnt your goat's milk or you've done something wrong because this is just the simplest way to do it. All right, so, all right, so let's get stuck in, shall we? So, first things first, we need to measure our ginormous amount of liquid, <laughs> which is, what did I just say, 70 grams? All right. I'm going slow because I over measure. Let's see. Oh, I nearly did. Yep, 70 grams of water. Now, I do not like lye at all. It's horrible stuff. And I don't know where I've put my mask. So, as I told you guys, <clears throat> you should always wear a mask 
when you're um, mixing up the lye. You just, you really should. You, you, you do not want to breathe those fumes in. They are bad. All right, so now I showed you the masks, which a lot of people use. Um, for me personally, I can't use those because I have to wear glasses, like proper glasses. Um, and they, the, the heat comes out the top of them and it fogs my glasses up so I can't see what I'm doing. And I can't take my glasses off because I can't see what I'm doing. So I use this, but I um, do a lot of spray painting. So I had this anyway, and this is, these are quite expensive. So I wouldn't suggest rushing out and buying one of these. I wouldn't suggest rushing out and buying one of these. Even if you planned on soaping, that's, you know, this is just something that I had um, and this is what I use when I mix up <coughs> sorry my lye because it's what I have now um, the other thing I was going to say apron so, so you don't want to splash on your clothes and we also need the gloves the ones from Coles and as you can see I'm actually using the ones from Coles um, now I have always promoted to not be scared of lye but to respect it right now lye is dangerous of course it's dangerous I mean it's stupid to say that it's not dangerous I mean it has a great big thing called poison on it right there you know um, it can cause burns I have splashed lye on myself before accidentally and wash it off immediately and did not cause a burn um, which is not to say that it won't but it's not going to eat through your flesh in one second right so this is why I always say respect it don't fear it because if you're gonna make soap you have to use this you don't have a choice unless you want to do melt and pour which is not making soap that's just using soap that's already made um, but yes, uh, the other thing I'm going to suggest, I don't know if I said it in the other video or not, long sleeves. It is 30 degrees in my house right now at 10 to 11 at night. I'm not putting sleeves, long sleeves on. It's too hot. And I've been doing this long enough now, <clears throat> I know how to be sensible. But when you first start out, I suggest strongly suggest that you follow all of the safety precautions just because you're starting out and you don't know what you're doing it doesn't matter how many things you've read and I researched for oh god 12 months before I made my first soap 12 months just research and so and even then until I did it I didn't know what I was doing so do not ignore safety measures wear your goggles wear your long sleeves wear your gloves I'm wearing an apron. I <laughs> the apron more because you'll just you'll make a mess. I guarantee you'll make a mess. And then it's on your clothes, and then you can take your clothes off and wash your clothes. If you've got an apron on, you can just take the apron off and wash it. Um, it's also good if you have have to if you accidentally splash, you can take the apron straight off and it's not against your skin. Um, if you do happen to spill lye. Do not use vinegar. Do not use vinegar. Water. And you're supposed to run it under the water for 15 minutes. That is what is this, this that's what you're told on any poison site or anything is to wash it for 15 minutes. Keep it under running water 15 minutes. I don't know why, but I'm reiterating what it says to do. So um, I don't even know what it says. Um yeah, don't drink it. That would be really stupid. Um, because we're going to leave this to cool down, and I'm going to suggest leaving this to cool down overnight, if you have kids or siblings or a stupid husband or wife, <laughs> even a smart husband or wife, you need to mark this and put poison on the right get a sharpie and write poison get some plastic tape and put poison on it whatever and make sure that you have a lid that a lid that seals shut this these lids seal shut i can turn this upside down it won't leak out 
and then you're going to put it up high in a cupboard somewhere at the back of a cupboard whether you put it in your clothes cupboard your linen press the back of your pantry wherever put it somewhere where your little kids are not going to find it where your your unsuspecting spouse is not going to find it and drink it unless of course you're trying to kill them and then well you know don't do it i didn't say kill your spouse like that no you're not blaming me for that one <laughs> But yeah, just be really careful, but make sure you mark the container that it's poison. Because, I mean, it just looks like water. Alright, so, enough with the, with the warnings. Have I freaked you out adequately enough? <laughs> and I've sweated in my gloves. That's how hot it is. There you go. That's how hot it is here. I've had these on for, what, not even five minutes? I'm already sweating in them. This is why I don't like soaping in gloves. Alright. We have our trusty ramekin, which is got a hair in it. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to tear out, which on this scale you just click the on off button again. Uh, yeah, see, I'm sh I have, because I have rheumatoid arthritis, I have a hard time with kid locks. <laughs> Alright, now depending on your recipe, you're going to pour in your lye. Now I'm doing the all ingredient recipe, so we need 68.5. Now, as this scale doesn't do half grams, I will put in 67. Very slowly, because I'm useless. wait till it just hits 68 and it's usually about 67 and a half but if you're worried don't worry about the half a gram and just do 67 half a gram I mean I know I said be precise but if you don't have a scale that does half grams it's better to err, err on the side of caution rather than to put too much now I'm going to pour this into the water but first of all I'm going to put my mask on I do not know if you're going to be able to hear me after this if not I'll just dub it but um yeah can you hear me <laughs> i'll probably sound a bit funny now all it is is a matter of just pouring in making sure there's nothing in the bowl and mixing just like that mix gently so that you don't splash See the steam coming up? That's how hot it's gotten. You need to make sure that there's no little bits in the bottom. You'll be able to feel them with your spoon. Because this container has a little ridge around the edges, I always go around the edges. Make sure there's none sitting in there. And that's it. Now I'm going to put the lid on here straight away and I'll tell you why when I take this mask off which I'll be back in a minute to do. And I'm back. I had to go away because I had to flap the tea towel around because um, it will linger in the air and it's just, I end up just coughing like crazy. Um, the reason you put the lid on straight away while it's still hot, if you don't you'll find that a one to one ratio will end up with crusty bits on the top of it. Now I'm going to put this in the fridge. I don't suggest you do it unless you're going to make your soap reasonably quickly after you've done it. But I'm going to do this because I want to make this soap tonight. Um, 
but for you I would suggest doing what I said get a get a sharpie I'll do it you know any any sort of permanent marker poison do not ouch that's hot do not drink I'm trying not to touch it because it's really hot. There you go. Now, you know, that's pretty... You can write it on all four sides if you wanted to be extra careful. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, just put it somewhere safe so that, you know, no one's going to drink it. Of course, that would be a bit silly. <laughs> all right. So, next up, oh, we'll make some soap, hey? All right, we'll see you then. Bye.